but I damn sure want to be. Working like a dog all day ain't working for me. I wish I had a rich uncle that'd kick the bucket and I was sitting on a pile like a Warren Bucket. I know that if I'd have said money can't buy happiness, but it can buy me a boat. My fault, everybody. I'm sorry. Give me a minute. I'm all getting chazzed up here, and <laughs> I don't know what to do with myself tonight. I got my kids are going out of town, uh, staying the night somewhere. My wife's out of town, and I'm just jamming out to some Chris Jansen. And I'm supposed to be doing a cooking video. Well, thank you guys for tuning in. This is Chef Bama here with Country Boy Cooking. Let me get myself dressed. Hey guys, it's Chef Bama again. We're inside Country Boy cooking, cooking tonight, and we're going to do up a dish that I saw on TV the other day by Pioneer Lady or Woman, whatever you call her. She's a great lady to watch, and I'm not one to sit and watch cooking videos all day. But it's a roasted pepper sauce over rigatoni noodles uh, with some shaved Parmesan cheese there. It's going to take uh, some butter here. Let me get that going. Oh, that's nice and sizzling it up. See the smoke? You got it like that. Because like they said, you need to get a, your pan hot. You need to get, then get your oil hot. And then we're going to saute some onions until they're translucent. Then we're going to, in the meantime, we're going to throw some fresh garlic in there. And I'm going to go ahead and chop up this a little bit more. Guys, yeah, my kids are gone. My wife is gone. I'm just jamming out tonight. I don't know what to do with myself. Uh, one thing, guys, I really want to talk about is a fundraiser that I'm doing here shortly. Coming up in October, we're going to be doing some uh, pulled pork uh, fundraiser. Sorry for the delay. Let me get this in here and go on. And get this onion cut up for you. But it's for a buddy of mine named Jimmy Lewis. It's for the MS Foundation, Foundation, the Multiple Sclerosis. And it's a great foundation. They really help out the, the people with MS. Uh, you can find it on my Facebook page. You can find it on my Country Boy Cooking page on, you, on Facebook. Turn that down a little bit. And we're just cooking them until it's translucent. Let me get that right quick. We're cooking it till the onions are translucent, which won't take long because I'll heat it up the pan a little bit before we got going here while I was jamming out. So let me turn that down a little bit because it was pretty hot. Get this out of the way. My noodles have already been boiled, so I'm going to get that taken care of right now. And get this stuff out of your way. I know it's been quite a while since I have done a video and I don't have my camera buddy here, John, my son to help me out with moving stuff around. And a lot of the chopping I have pre-done or done beforehand to where we doesn't take a whole lot of our time on the video. She calls this her 16 minute meal. And what, all you're doing is, I will show you the pan, but translucent onions is translucent onion, people. It's very simple, but with Jimmy Lewis and the multiple sclerosis, He's doing a hike on the Appalachian Trail coming up on in April of 2016. He's going to hike from Harper's Ferry all the way to Maine and do half of the Appalachian Trail with his dog. I'm going to be out there with him for the first week or so. Uh, I'm doing a couple of fundraisers. I'm starting here in the Hampton Roads area. And once I get that done, that one's going to be in October. Then I'll probably do another one in another town and just to help raise money for the MS Foundation and also to help with Jimmy with getting through his hike. But now with these peppers, you can just go get the store bought roasted peppers. It's very simple. And uh, you just pour everything right into the pan. And all you're going to do is get it to where it's, they're hot, which this pan, it won't take long because I've already had it going, guys. But all you do, you heat these roasted peppers up till they're nice and warm or I guess hot. And you throw them in the blender while I get that out right quick. 
So yes, if you don't mind, keep looking at on my Country Boy Cooking uh, YouTube page at John Harris Country Boy Cooking, or you can even take it a look at on my Facebook page under Country Boy Cooking. I'll be passing the word out there. I have an online store with the Square app. I've set an online store to where you can either make a donation in three different options, a $10 donation, a $15 donation, a $20 donation, or you can buy a quart of my pulled pork. If you look on my videos on YouTube, you'll see a video of one of the porks that I've done. Um, I'm going to do some more later and take you through every single step of doing that. Make it fairly easy, even from going through the rubs and making the sauces and everything. But with this one here, it's $25 a quart and normally it's $20, but we're going to try to raise a little bit more extra money to help Jimmy and help the MS Foundation. It's a great organization. Ever since I've done this, started talking about this, I've had a lot of people come up to me and say, hey John, hey chef, I've heard, I got, I know this such and such person and I know this such and such person that has MS. I think it's a great thing that you're doing. Oh my God. These roasted peppers. People, you can take red bell peppers. It's very simple. Take red bell peppers. You put them on a, uh, if you have a gas stove or you do it on your grill, however, and you roast them up till they're all black. And then when they're all nice and charred, you wrap them up in uh, paper towels, wet paper towels, and then let them soak in there for a little bit. And then you can just peel the char off and then they're nice and soft and they're done. They're roasted. Then you can just slice them up however you want. You can make them into spaghetti sauce, you can lay them in fajitas, you can do however you want to do. But in the meantime, I'm going to take a little sip. As you see, all my stuff is in mason jars. Take a little bit of heavy whipping cream, it's in a mason jar. Beer, <laughs> mason jar. Can't beat it, country boy cooking right here. Now my noodles are done, I'm going to go ahead and pour them out. I won't be putting them back in the same pan. I'm going to be putting them back in the pan with the roasted peppers and the onions and garlic. And I'm going to put some garlic powder in the blender while I'm doing it. So if you guys don't mind, I'm going to turn my back again. Uh, since I don't have my side camera guy helping me out today. Because you know what? I'm a free man tonight. But you know what I'm doing instead of going out and having a good time? I'm jamming out to some good country music. I'm cooking up a great dish that's for me. Man, what can I look better? I got beer, I got great food, got country music. We're gonna have a great night, folks. Get this back on for a little bit. But I won't jam it up too loud, but you know, we get that going real quick. So these are nice and hot. You can see the peppers here with the onions and the garlic. And the char, there's still some char on the peppers if you could see them. Uh, if you buy your own jar of roasted peppers, you'll see that there's still some char left on it. So it ha it's putting like a, I guess an ugly color into the, the liquid right now, which I'm not worried about that because that's not going to go into the sauce because I'm going to take those out while I do that. Let me grab my tongue. If my chef instructor was here, he'd be upset because normally we have everything in place it's called Mise en Place, but I don't have it today. What can I say? But guys, I'm going to get back into doing this, making more videos. We're going to do this video today. I'm going to do a lot of different videos using my jet boil, and it's for hiking. I've been doing a couple of hikes here lately. I'm going to do another hike coming up here August 15th. I'm going out to the Appalachian Trail. But if you look out on those, I might even do some out on the trail. But I'll do a couple in-house beforehand where you can see it. And if you ever go hiking and you have a jet bowl or a little stove, you can make some really, really good meals. If you have a dehydrator, guys, I'm going to show you some tricks later on. I've been studying up on and watching videos and learning from other guys that are hiking. If you dehydrate your stuff, it makes it extremely light. You want light when you're hiking. And then, next thing you know, you're out there and you have really good meals. I'm talking about fresh mashed potatoes and peas and vegetables and dehydrated chicken and you rehydrate it with some hot water. You have a great meal out on the trails. All right, so.
see, I'm not making a big dish because this is only for one person. I might take some to where my boys are staying the night at tonight. I'll take some over there tomorrow just because she helped me out by taking the boys. That was a shocker. I wasn't expecting it. It doesn't take long guys, it doesn't take long. I'll get this juicy stuff out of the way. Now that is absolutely beautiful. Now, you can see this beautiful red sauce. It's absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to throw this back on here. Throw some garlic powder in here. Because y'all know Chef Bama, we love our garlic here at Country Boy Cooking. And then now what you do, you're just going to take this heavy whipping cream. You're going to pour some in. You're going to stir it up. Now when I do that, I'm going to let this ball out a little bit and get that whipping cream in, mixed in really well. And then in the meantime, what I'll do, I'll take this, I just, it's just a regular peeler, and I'll just make some strips of Parmesan, some good old fresh Parmesan. And while I do that, this is getting hot and boiling in and boiling out, getting it ready to go. I can move that to the side now. It's just little strips. Very simple, make nothing fancy, guys. I'll take a sip. But I hope everybody's been having a great day. We went to the water park. And now we're just trying to hang out, do some good cooking. Now that it's nice and warm, yes, folks, I have tasting spoons at home. Oh my God! Boy, let me tell you what. When you eat this, try this at home, guys. Please try it. Post back on my Country Boy Cooking on Facebook page and let me tell me what you think about it. I'm in love. Oh. Man, I'm in love. So now we're going to take our pasta. We got our rigatoni. We drained it really well. Oh dear heavenly father. Make a little mess. I Making a mess is all right because I'll clean it up later. All right, ladies and gentlemen, get my plate and drink. The one thing I'm missing, and I'm really mad at myself for not getting it, is my I'm very upset that I did not bring my greenery in here. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the roasted pepper. I'll take a picture of it here in a second, but I'm going to take a bite of it right now. And I promise you, I promise you it's going to be wonderful. That's what the warden to see it. Oh, here we go, guys. 
Oh my God, people. Boy, let me tell you what. You taste the garlic. You taste the red peppers. You taste the garlic powder, obviously. It's perfectly seasoned. Only thing I wish I had was some fresh basil and some parsley. But let me tell you. It would give it a better looking color than it is right now, ladies and gentlemen. But good God almighty, this is delicious. It's very simple to make. The video is right now at 16 minutes. I told you it was a 16 minute video. Country music going, beer in the mason jars. I'm Chef Bama with Country Boy Cooking. Y'all have a great day. Please post it, um, post it, share it, whatever you need to do to it. But check me out on Facebook, check me out on YouTube. This is Chef Bama again, one more time, Country Boy Cooking. Y'all have a great day and roll tide.